Hi everyone, you are welcome back to today's class. My name is Abdullah Kim. In this tutorial, I'll be taking you through data validation in Excel. Data validation is designed to restrict or eliminate the possibility of typing invalid data directly into a cell in Excel. It is used to control what you can type directly into a particular cell. Imagine you are entering scores from an exam. In this exam, the maximum score is 100. There is possibility of typing 700 instead of 70. This will result in poor result uh, reports and analysis. So, assuming you are dealing with a, a thousand list, looking for this kind of error may be time consuming and it may be difficult to discover such an error. Data validation can help you in resolving this kind of error. Let's see how you can do this. In the worksheet, tagged more. Assuming in the column A, you want Excel to accept a number between 1 to 100. How do we do this? You go to your data tab in Excel and you see data validation under data tool. So you click data validation and uh, so you have options. You have any value you have whole number, decimal, and rest. But in this case, you want whole number, which is between 0 and 100. So we click OK. Let's see how it works. So each time you, whatever you type, whenever you type into this uh, column, it will type 0 to be accepted. Type 54. Okay. Once you type 101, anything above 100 will be, de will be rejected by Excel. That is how data validation works in Excel. If you have a list, and instead of typing the list, each time you are working on uh, Excel, Instead of typing the list one after the other or retyping every time, you can create you can use data validation to select and create a drop down list. In this case, let's look at this. We have a list of January to December. What do we do? You can work with it like this, but it's better you name the range as a uh, Let's say we have uh, this as uh, name as a uh, month. So in column B, we want months only to appear here. No figure and no number. So go to data validation and here we have list. So you select your list. Where is the source of the list? Where can we get the list? So we have, uh, you can select your range here. Well, in this case, since we've named the range, type month. So each time we want to type the name, instead of typing on the Along the way, making mistake or typing error, just click the mount. So this column now, whenever you type any other thing apart from the mount, it will be accepted by Excel. And there is additional tools in data validation that you can also use. On the data validation here. We have input message. This message 
can help the user to know what kind of information is expected in the cell. For example, let's see here under this particular one, we have the we have our foundation here. Then input message. Let's say okay. Type ring between one and one hundred. So whenever you click this, I said would remind you type anything between one and one hundred only. And is that also you can also use this to limit error regarding date. Assuming okay, this is the beginning of the year, and uh, there's possibility of typing 2020 when we are already in 2021. You can restrict your date column, the date uh, column to limit date to 2021 only. Let's go, let's see how it works with date. Data validation. So here we have uh, date. So between what date and what date? In one one twenty twenty one and uh, thirty one of twenty twenty one. Okay, error alert. Type input input a date join a date in twenty twenty one only. Let's come to the column. Let's say we have 31 to 2020. So, menu, we have to input a date in 2021 only. That's how that works. Same thing works with date, name of the date of birth, to the origin, and the rest. Assuming you want date of birth. Between 1960 till date, what do we do? Go to data validation, go to your settings, click your date. So between 1 1 1960 and uh, equals to today. So any date after today will not be accepted by Excel. Any date before 1960 will not be accepted. Let's see how it works. Different description defined for the defined for this cell. So that's how to use. Uh, validation and create drop down list. Assuming you want to create a drop down list for the state of origin and just to make sure you have your list somewhere very close. You can even hide the cells. So you have your list, you name the list state. So, you can come back to the column or a cell or two cells or the range of cells that way you want to validate. It doesn't mean that you have to validate the entire column. So, you just select the column you want to validate or the cells. So, in this case, we're validating the whole column. So, go to data validation, then select the list. 
have the list to be k equals to so instead of typing the state's name or I make mistake while typing so you already have the list here for you to use thank you for watching If you enjoyed the video, kindly subscribe to my channel and click like on the video. Thank you.